In our previous lesson, we went over how to install the Pipedream CLI tool, how to configure it and set up on your local machine. Well, now there's an even easier way to get started with component development without installing any dependencies on your machine whatsoever. Introducing the Gitpod integration with Pipedream. I'm gonna show you how you can open up a Gitpod workspace from Pipedream, so that way you can start component development immediately without installing anything and just running code from your browser. So first we're going to create a Gitpod account and I created a grant, brand new GitHub account to do this. Authorize our GitHub account and I'm gonna choose the VS Code browser. Now we have a Gitpod account to play with. Next, I'm going to configure it to have my Pipedream API key. So we head to the environment variable section of your account. I'm gonna make a new one called PD API key and the value I'm gonna take from my Pipedream account. So if you head to your settings area under your account and then open up this programmatic access area and you can copy this API key here, go back to Gitpod and paste it in. So what I like to do is define my, the repository. So I'm just gonna say all owners and then anything that's under the Pipedream repository should have access to this API key. Great, now Gitpod has access to our API key and we create a brand new workspace from it. I'm gonna head on over to the official Pipedream repository and I'm just gonna quickly fork it to my account and just call it Pipedream so it matches with what Gitpod expects. Now to create a Gitpod instance is easy as opening gitpod.io slash hashbang and then the GitHub repository you'd like to open up with a Gitpod instance. We've configured Gitpod to automatically install the Pipedream CLI tool and configure it to your account with that environment variable. Once Gitpod is finished, you'll see a VS Code instance in the browser and we'll be able to use it to interact with Pipedream through the CLI tool. You can see that it's already installed on this workspace. We can type in PD and we can verify that it's connected to my account using PD list. You can see a list of all my sources that are available on my account. And that's it. Now we can head onto the components directory and view all of the components on the open registry, modify them, deploy them to our account. And we can even make pull requests to the main Pipedream public repository using our fork. We just make changes and then upload them using our source control and opening a brand new PR request against the main repository. Or if you just wanna work in your own fork, that's fine too. Just publish your own account and I'll show you the next video how to do that.